Arise back from the dead to once more face Greeny Porcini's adventures and adversities. If you are salty because there was no video for a two whole week period, well, you cannot surpass my salt. Here's your solution. I want you to get on a plane, abandon everything, move to freaking Alaska, apply at the post office, so you can uh, share in the workload because these people are pissing me off. Taking away my days off, making me work 24 seven. I, I have not been able, I basically resorted to put a cot at the post office, making me able to sleep over there. Why even bother to go home at this point? I'm just going to uh, live in this damn place. And you fellas can just tell my wife I love her. I'll never see her again. Actually, I will, because she works with me at the post office. We're trapped forever in the damn place. So I want you to all to go apply to the postal job. So that way you can take away all my overtime. Sure, I am making plenty of money. I'm, uh, I've, I've had my fill. I, uh, I guess I am flaunting my privilege right now that... You know what? I don't really need the money no more. I would rather have the free time. Thank you very much so I can make, uh, make silly videos on the internet and indulge all my hobbies. I have like 70 bajillion projects in the back burner. Ooh, this guy. If it's full of violence, I hate wants to shove it right at my butthole. So, for some reason, I have decided that I am a violent, <laughs> violent criminal today. I am not embracing any kind of peace with these scumbags. Really should be looking out for uh, chest and key and all that good stuff. But hey, uh, none of that happened. Somehow I managed to miss not just the chest, but also the key. There was one level with both of those, but it doesn't matter because I have a jetpack. And I am sure that Grini Porcini would not dare take away my beautiful shortcut all the way to the place where th everything's backwards sunken city certainly that's not gonna happen the back layer has all these damn spikes i need to explore that i need to find out what's up up what was going on up there i need to i need to go back i need to check it out is there a door to check out that area My bad. <laughs> My bad, Vigo. Oh, uh, there is a door right here. Oh, I need to check it out. Mr. Porcini has included some kind of silly secret. Maybe it's like a the dark boss. Uh, I have been poisoned. I have been poisoned. I am not f a fan of what just transpired. I guess we're facing scorpion bosses over here. There is some... Great with a sweet pile of bombs. Then a bunch of just spikes, huh? This is a pile of scorpions with bombs and maybe a couple crate pickups. That's pretty good. I like it. Certainly a, a an improvement over what we used to have, and it just basically allows you to skip skip a uh, mole man. I like that. Super nice. Like an alternative path that. You know, it did get me poisoned. <laughs> Don't appreciate it. Oh, that's right. You, you want to... Oops, I gave you the, whatever the hell you were asking for. Uh, you know, I'm uh, in a little bit of a hurry. Oh, no, wait. My hurry no longer needs to be a thing. Because now, you can come in here. <laughs> okay, well... Okay, all right. Let me just save this... Rat! I want that jelly bean to be in my face. Oh, baby! It doesn't um, cure poison, though. Well, I basically... I, I almost broke even here. I, I definitely am interested in Rat Face's goods. She carries the absolute best 
in the universe, but kind of a difficult proposal that you got for me to find the entrance to her secret store. So I think the alternative is going to be just grab the rat. Oh, baby! <laughs> oh, man, I don't have infinite time here. We need to get to the exit with the rat. That's multiple super spiders, huh? Yeah, I appreciate that. What just happened? This is not the way to the exit. I swallowed this pile of jelly. And I still... I'm not doing great with health. This exit, the shape of it, it is 100%. Uh, HD inspired. I hate this so much. <laughs> oh, it's they're sticky. I forgot about that. Let me just create a shortcut over here. Hopefully, we can get to it. What? Well, I'm about to die. Quick, 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 quick. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, baby. <laughs> I needed to get through the exit before the poison hit me. I bet if I had waited. If I had grabbed the shotgun, I would have been dead right now. Somehow I have managed to lose like, what, 20 points of health since we started? Anyway, I have like a bajillion projects in the back burner. Not least of that, not least of all, the next damn book that I'm publishing, it's completely done. It is designed, ready to print. I just need to get around to getting all you know all the annoying ancillary nonsense around publishing a new book doing all the like even the amazon page is, is done it's just a matter of you know, a few promotional videos and uh, i do want to make like a prop for it to make sure like the the promotional video the the entire concept of it comes through so I need to get a bunch of work done. Why, why am I carrying this bow? What am I doing? Am I a moron? I really don't like this. I don't like the situation we put ourselves in. In which we are going around with one point of health in a dark jungle. Damsel. Well, it was known as Major Stupid. Let me just kill you, disgusting monkey, real quick. <laughs> Stop chasing me! Man, that startled the crap out of me. Just, just go into the spikes. Be a team player. Play for Team Zombie. Get yourself spiked. No, you don't want to do it? Come on, you can do it. Hop. Do a nice hop. That is too much of an aggressive hop. I hate you! Nah, I don't think we are... Uh, I don't think this is a good enough spot. I guess we'll just resort to violence. I'm pretty pretty decent at resorting to violence. You know, that was me putting down a bomb, thinking that it would do the whole going down through the branches thing that I used to do in HD. Come on, man. Why you have to do me dirty like this? Alright, you did. You did. Let me just go back. There's the exit. I have no boots. Let me go grab. I really would like, you know, to like to go to the black market and all that nonsense. But where's the dog? There's other. Um, I'm a bit preoccupied with the whole not dying thing. A bit of a of a problem that I have right now, where I am at the brink of freaking death. Oh, right. oh man, I. Should have definitely tested the audio. I really should have tested the audio. Because I haven't recorded in two weeks. I really should have gone and done a test recording. I am very much tempted to just stop the recording. Make sure that it's working. So I don't continue talking for another 20x minutes. Into a video that is completely... Unwatchable? I'm just gonna take the risk though. There's no reason for it to be bad. 
and I did use Skype to talk to the parents. We're old fashioned. We have used Skype for several decades. We're not going to swap to Zoom or whatever the hell the kids are using these days. We're Skype loyalists. Even though Skype is this awful, clumsy piece of garbage that <laughs> updates every other day to put some more bloatware into your computer. But we still keep using it. It's just, you know, the curse of the familiar. Use the known devil. As opposed to trying something new. It's too much hassle. Another shopkeeper dead. Uh, Black Market will be great, though. But I don't have a way to locate it. It's fine. I need to find the Black Market. What I would like is to find a dog to lick my face. In a way that heals my spirit. Can I hear a damn thing though? Let me actually turn up my, my volume. It's a little too low. My speakers. Gotta strike that balance between... And this is so long. This is so long. This entire corridor. Let me just get to the exit. Um, strike a balance between being able to hear it and not echoing into the microphone. On top of the new novel coming out, completely unrelated to everything else I've written, I have this curse where... Oh, wow. <laughs> Please don't get murdered by a skeleton. I have this curse where creating new worlds and new settings it is so much more interesting to holy crap so much more interesting to me than making sequels and that's bad for business honestly sequels and making a series that's how you hook an audience could have killed me could have killed me that bad Because you release number two. And suddenly people are checking out your number one. You release number four. Everybody's buying your number one through three and all that stuff. And just, you know. But I just like making new things. I just, I just like making new things. Woo! <laughs> Why? Why must I suffer this indignity? Extremely manly yell. I hope that you appreciate it. Why am I surrounded by just violent psychos who care not for my survival? Hmm? I want to go back and grab the creature I rescued. <laughs> okay, he's stuck. Didn't I grab? No, I just killed this shopkeeper. I just left. I was just sated with the violence healed my spirit that way didn't need a rat to look lick my face when i already felt good in my heart for using violence to solve my problems okay i did do this that would be something that i did here i am just scraping the bottom of the barrel barely getting by saving damsels no black market to be found here's olmec being a weirdo for some reason Greeny Porcini's mod overrides my Olmec, the sad Olmec that I am so happy with. Something that I noticed in the previous uh, video, there was a bit of a hidden area. Oh wait, I want that crate. Let me make sure that the crate does not get destroyed. There was a hidden area at the bottom, but I did not actually notice it until the video was over nice nice i appreciate it okay buddy get done with your silly butt smacking i got like a good seven videos in the back burner just scripts that i have completed entirely and narrated and I put them into the video editor and I just drag my feet and never do it. Or, you know, I get home at freaking 8 p.m. and all I want to do is swallow a, a big ass sausage and get my ass to bed. 
There is no desire in my heart to be messing with no video editor. Get any kind of creative juices going on. That's right, this is the thing that happens. You guys know that Olmec spawns a bunch of aliens in uh, the third phase. Little known Kulanki 2 trick. Uh, I would like you to have access to this crate before Olmec becomes sunken forever. Super. There was a key, remember? Uh, there was a key that we had. There was, there's a bunch of enemies here, so be careful. Uh, oh, come on. Okay. Oh, this is ass. <laughs> this, is, this is what I saw. I was like, oh man, that looks like a, a cool uh, little cubbyhole with really big rewards. No, it was just garbage. So, all right, Mr. Porcini, you baited me into uh, being excited. for checking out the back of this damn place. Okay, well, there also has a uh, shotgun at the top. Shotgun at the top. What are these videos that you're talking about? What are these videos? Well... Uh, to show you, to tell you an example of the level of back burner ness that I've been forced to accept, my April Fool's video is still in the works. <laughs> okay, what is going on? What is going on? There is a key here, and there seems to be maybe some kind of room, but it's not locked. It's not locked. What is this key for? So confused. I mean, there's no ghost. There's no ghost in this Olmec level, so we can spend as much time as I like exploring this area, finding out what is the deal with this key. Surely it is self-contained. It's not something that is going to be coming up. Right? That would be my guess, that you don't keep the key and it's for the for three levels down the, low, the, down the line. That's where I found the key. But it's not locked. Freaking hover pack, show it up your butthole. Parachute. Mm, no key to enter there. So confused. I am so confused. I don't want to uh, be too foolish about it because I do only have two points of health. But damn it, I'm going to explore the entirety of this damn place. Nothing you can just do to stop me. Well, this is back to the entrance. The bottom layer has nothing. Maybe this was supposed to have a key? I don't know. I mean, a lock. A few spikes over here, but not really anything. All right, well, I, I give up. This is the limit of my curiosity. That's all I got. I want to do nothing. I got another video. It's called It's Time to Stop. Ranting about why do I have to watch bars fill up? And gathering nodes, a circle fill up while pressing down the button. Very much inspired by Cult of the Lamb. It's a pretty neat little rant. A little bit of an opinion piece with recent game design choices that I really don't appreciate. You know, they're wise, really good games. There's also once mended, twice broken. Literally a one hour long one hour long lore video about the most obscure game that you can imagine not really the most obscure i'm going back for the shotgun if you think if you're wondering what the hell i'm doing there you go a lore video for dreamscaper of all games let's go tide pool i'm pretty sure i went temple in the previous the previous uh Incarnation of this mod. My intention, by the way, is to 
discover... Wow, <laughs> that poor cat did not deserve that. Uh, it, it, that was not deserved. Go away. Go away, you filth. What? Is that a thing? Is that a thing that happens? Pretty sure I've been surprised by that in the past and I had the exact same question. Anyway. And it's like, it's a lore video, but it's also a bit of a fan fiction kind of thing. It's a really weird, really heartfelt story. Heavily based on the lore of Dreamscaper, which is a roguelike. And the video tells you the whole story of the protagonist in a very dramatic fashion. Okay, we're good, we're good. It's all done. It's all done. The gambling has been done. We can move on with our life through this very convoluted tide pool. Let us not succumb to instant death like I did in the previous video. Please, I hate you. <laughs> Scumblar. Scumblar! That's right, you guys are still mad. For some reason. People have no forgiveness in your heart. Shame! Shame! What kind of Christians are you? Hey, Kali is finally here. I guess we'll bomb our way in there for some reason, even though probably there's an easier way to do it. I like, like, this little touch, just a small side detour. Doesn't really do much, though. I like bomb. I like to find the sacrificial flesh, though. And it defeats the whole purpose, opening the way to Cali, if there are no meat bags to offer upon her brow. Could make it into the vault. Offer him up to the Dark Goddess. Cackling all the way, but I guess we'll just have to be a little bit more civil than that. I don't want to spend my few bombs that I have left. Man, this, this entrance is, is just freaking cursed. I hate it. <laughs> I hate everything about it. Alright, bud. Let's go in there. Light out some torches. Wonder if it's changed in any way. I would presume it is not. The boring challenge wasn't changed at all. Toss. Okay, so that good stuff. Being also preparing with my. Here's what I've been doing with my free time: preparing Lady Butthole for the Elden Ring DLC. I was like, I'm going to have her be a hundred percent ready to face a new game plus dlc at level 175 that's where i stopped leveling through my new game plus plus adventure and i'm like if it turns out that the game is actually way too hard or way too easy i'll just go and uh, revert to my save right as the ending of the YouTube series happened, I set us. Ah! Uh! I set the save game aside. There is a way to, you know, copy that save game and restore it. If you just find the spot where it is kept in your hard drive. So either way, I will have a, a ready character to get it done. And I've just been going through the entirety of the game. Gathering every single thing. And I've enjoyed myself greatly. We're going to the back layer here just because I am curious. This is ass. Why? Why come in here? There's no reason. I mean, this just leads to the underwater area, right? Maybe I'm about to get myself murdered by a maniac. Shopkeeper, I have no crown with which to uh, unsheath this incredible tool of destruction. All right, no real reason to do anything here. I guess I could get myself 
a little fool to carry my clone gun. What? I think there was a crate and I destroyed the crate. No, there was a a present box. Of course there was. Let me just get rid of all these damn fishes. Embrace this Saddam Hussein method of fishing. You better have no grenades right now. Don't kill my little slave. Just come, Lord. How about you eat this mouthful of lead? Are you dead yet? Alright, you're dead. Okay, buddy. You're not gonna follow me, are you? Please follow me to the outside. Probably you're not going to do it. Probably you're just going to be a major pain in my anus. All I need you to do is grab the damn clone gun. What's up, bud? Leave that, let, let go of that garbage. Well done, well done. I appreciate your existence. Now, don't step out of line. If you're, uh, you and I are going to have very violent words. We carry on. All right. Do I trust you to not be a total maniac? <laughs> Just instant sepulchral. It's just like... He knew that he was going to get horribly mistreated. It's like, I prefer death. Almost tricked me. You almost tricked me into shooting that uh, trap. I prefer death to continue this thankless servitude. Alright, we got one of these. There is lava at the, t at the bottom. I don't think we're going to do anything with it. We're just going to continue cherishing the jetpack. There's the current plan. And hopefully it shan't explode. What do I want the clone gun uh, again? Just carry it all the way to the... To the final challenge in the sunken city, right? That's something I really want to do. Almost exploded. Almost got myself impaled. Because I did not hit that jetpack activation quickly enough. Well, alright. I'll just keep this clone gun. I am not intimidated. We just need to get it to the ice caves. And then Gloop will take it all the way to the other side. Let's murder a little bit. Oh. Do I spike shoes? You're not poison me, bruh. I'm not down for that kind of interaction between the two of us. Alright, alright. We got Callie again. I appreciate her presence. But, uh... I need flesh! That's what I screamed when I entered the brothel. They gave me the absolute most hung hunks. You could imagine. What am I doing? What is what is this interaction that I am engaging with? Get me out of here! I know I just heard the damn damsel. What happened? Where would it go? Just let the shopkeeper go wild. There it is. <laughs> the incredible invisible hamster over here. What a pain in my ass. Suppose you trying to steal my pictures, man. I suppose we're going for it. Hey, we got a little, a little slave to sacrifice right away. Do not care. Don't need you to carry no clone gun. You're far more useful to me as sacrificial meat. And then now I guess we're just gonna leave. I guess I could maybe endeavor to murder the shopkeeper and then put his carcass in Callie's breast. Bit of a challenge. Oh yeah, not a challenge at all. All you need to do is put an explosive attached to his forehead and watch him perish with great glee. Hey, about time. Thank you for putting it in my face. Give me that blood. I've been starved for 
health pickups, finally we can make up for time lost. Okay, we grab the clone gun and we carry on with our lives. It's fine. Mighty lofty of my assumptions to say that this clone gun is going to make it all the way to the sunken city. Death upon you. Very much full of myself to believe that this thing is going to make it all the way there and we're not going to die horrendously before that time happens. Get rid of all this nonsense. Please, I need gloop. Boink. Much denser. Uh, what's it called? Uh, the place with the, the frozen thing. <laughs> it is a much denser ice caves. Hey, I was hoping. I was hoping indeed. Here, you can shove this right up your rectum. If you have one of those. Your waste disposal area. Whatever that is. Uh, perhaps it's a cloaca. Perhaps it's a slimy duct, much like your mother-in-law has. I mean, much like your mother or my mother-in-law. I mix both by insulting a person that you're probably not very fond of to begin with. All right. For some reason, I am intent on getting some more craft sacrificial flesh. Even though it makes zero sense whatsoever to be wasting my time in such a foolish manner. I do want to go to the back layer here, though. Check it out, see how it has changed, if at all. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Much, much different. We got here. The lady who has suffered the most on my hands. I hate this. <laughs> Once more, we have a person who decides is... Who decides a short and painful death is so much better than life around me. This is what all my previous wives decided too. I was not involved whatsoever in their demise. It was just their choice to drown in the bathtub. Got no attention to the choke marks. That was the dog. The dog just always played at choking her. Have nothing to do with it. Hey, just uh, grab all this stuff. There's a pitcher smith for some reason. I mean, it exists there, and I, I'm glad that it's a thing. Uh, will you stun me if I let you fall with my, the ice? I think that it would have. Definitely like the denser version of this ice caves setting. I would certainly say that a lot of the additions from Grini Porcini's mod are very inspired by HD. I've seen several rooms that feel like they are a carbon copy of them, especially the exit. One of the exits at the jungle was like identical, where I have murdered countless shopkeepers. That's why I could recognize it so well. Familiar battleground for my old nemesis. You know what? This cat is more useful to me as a projectile. <laughs> he might survive. Is the weirdo? Please depart this life. So that I can... Perhaps take advantage of your... Of your gun. Something I should do, in fact. You know what? Why not? Why not grab this item? And let the good times roll. Kind of silly to put it at the bottom. Pretty damn silly indeed. Wonder if it's completely random or... I bet it's just completely random. The policy for spawning those has been changed a little bit and it can be a little more flexible. Yeah, I only have six bombs. I've been having too much fun with these people. This is a, a foolish endeavor. This is a, such a foolish endeavor. I want to put a bomb right next to your anus. You don't want to spend so many. Yeah, I got gotcha, you, bitch. I just want your firearm. 
Ready to embrace my American birthright. Might as well grab all the money. What? I see. I think this is 100% random, right? That for the vault to have somehow spawned in a spot where it gives me access to the to the mothership. These guys are a problem. Yeah, yeah, we gotta look. I'm fortunate that it took so long to get here. Appreciate seeing the top of that mothership. Wonder if they have has been changing it changed in any way, but you know the mothership is one of the really rare and also interesting places of Spelunky 2. So I will be surprised if Greeny Porcini even bothered to touch it. I hate this. <laughs> what is this trap? What is this trap? Holy crap! Oh well, hey, let me try to embrace a different path because this is just a nightmare. You're <laughs> getting through that? No, there's no different path. I just need to use one of my rare bombs. That's why you don't want to spend them so liberally in the previous level because now I am stuck with this nightmare. We're Ooh. Put it there. That should take care of both of those traps. All right. Was it possible to just walk through it? Probably right but holy crap brother no, it's not no, it's not it's a fun time not something i ever want to face again Your death was foretold by the stars just get out of this nonsense area so yeah you know uh hopefully i can continue this streak of getting actual days off where i can record nonsense for you fellas I can work on stuff off after work if i get out of work at a, a decent time i'll get on that editor but there's, you know there's oh oh jeez <laughs> the trap startled the crap out of me uh that is like half of it the other half which i mean i am hoping i can just blame on being exhausted from actually having to work all the time uh but i do feel like there's like a mm, a little bit of lack of luster. My luster is lacking. It's not that I don't feel creative. It's like I've just ever since that giant um, rain world lore video, my desire to fire up the editor and get some work done has been greatly diminished. It's like I burned out so hard from it and I don't feel like I should feel that way <laughs> but uh, I don't know if, if correlation doesn't indicate causation in this oh my goodness what is this I hate everything about this I think I will use my last bomb to get out of here because walking forth probably spell disaster wait this out Certainly going there with my my lifelong battle pass. I'll give myself some sweet, sweet nectar. Hey. Uba. Does she say Uba several times in a row? This is a slightly changed. Holy crap, it is actually quite changed. <laughs> the vault has been uh, beefed up. No longer is it easy to just walk in here and steal them blind there is quite the the the, 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 the. ah what is the word I, for some reason the word workshop keeps coming to my mind it's like it's not workshop shut up brain the word i'm looking for is not workshop stop suggesting it but it keeps going with workshop there's quite the workshop in there. No, it's not. It's not a maze. It's not a labyrinth. <laughs> my brain is rebel rebelling against my word retrieval algorithm. It is just continuously suggesting the wor wrong 
word. And I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to wait until this word comes to my mind, okay? Gauntlet. As I have for maybe 20 seconds, the word is gauntlet. Quite the gauntlet in there. It's a gauntlet. Thank you, brain, for finally functioning. I know that I have been keeping you pretty starved of sleep and a little too much coffee. I have become a coffee addict that resisted it for 40 years. 40 years I resisted becoming yet another American coffee junkie. Stayed up too late too many times. My wife has been rescuing me with caffeine too many times. And now it is a daily ritual to have a morning cup of coffee. I am at last one of the many. I used to be so unique, so special. I could look at every coffee drinker from the top of my nose and be like, Pwah! You fools addicted to chemicals won't catch me doing that. And now look at me. I have become the thing that I loathed. There was never any loathing. Because, you know, my wife loves her coffee. She drinks like three cups a day. So, certainly not loathing in my heart for coffee drinkers. But I always had that sense of superiority. I was like, I don't need caffeine. I don't need caffeine to... To, uh... You know what? I haven't done this in forever. <laughs> am, I, am I going to botch it? Watch me botch it. <gasps> yep, yep. All right, all right. Man, that was quite the quite a long time. I, I think it's been easily six months or more since I did a a jetpack skip above Ta Tiamat. Hey. This is working out so far. It's working out. I feel like I'm going through the game, though. I'm not really seeing all the new stuff. Like, I'm skipping all the secrets. Might need to get some spoilers in the comments or something for, so I can actually seek them out. I've been doing the standard kind of trip through Spelunky 2 instead of going out of my way to maybe check out any kind of potential secret gathering. Might as well grab a little bit of blood here and there. Hey, there's a clone gun somewhere waiting for me. Thank you, Gloop. Your reward is DEATH! Give me that good stuff. And there is... The actual challenge of the universe. Uh, we have plenty of ropes to keep using them like this. It's fine. Hello! Yes, I shall splurge. Big time. How does this work again? <laughs> I hope you didn't change it, Greeny Porcini. Because if you did change it, I'm going to be destroyed by your dastardly hand. But no, it's all good. Seems like it's the, it's the exact same setup. Same old challenge of the sun. This come lord is not going to create skeletons under my anus, is it? Absolutely not. We're free to just remain here for no no danger whatsoever. Ow. I got hurt. I got hurt by a scum lord. But we're good. I'm grabbing all the I grabbed the resources. I am smart. I'm very smart. <laughs> Look, it's been too long, okay? It's still too long. Don't judge me. Don't yell at me. Don't you dare go into the comments being all like <laughs> Largo talking about the same oh, the cloning of the presence for the whole run. Timestamp! Look at this idiot! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there goes my clone. No, it, it is not destroyed. It is not destroyed. But what the hell do I want a clone gun for? After I have, I am just, I'm going to leave it there in disgust. I'm too freaking stupid to <laughs> earn the use of this clone gun. After I worked so much, certainly uh, 
a much different layout here for the sunken city. Overall, I would say the game is a lot more dense with Grini Porcini's changes. Ooh, a lot of nonsense going on here. Does the pitcher's mid? Does the path of the bomb get altered by touching the water? I'm just going to ignore you, you scum lord. I really should have grabbed the shotgun though. 7 3. That. Ow. I appreciate you, you filthy amphibian. Alright. Oh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Almost did it. Almost did it. Is there even anything to give Callie? It's a pretty ass kind of level, so. I don't really care. Maybe you could throw this frog at this man's head, but. Let me just put a bomb there. And please swallow this one. Please. How? How, how did I manage to botch both throws? Please. There you are. Wrap your mouth. Give me that shotgun. Hey. Uh, sure, I guess. We'll put a bomb there. Make my life a little bit more palatable I did want that I did want it thank you if I had my clone gun I could have gotten a whole six more bombs all right please let's get through let's get through the hundun gauntlet with no differences don't do me dirty now level generation we're going to get through it I'm too greedy. I'm a greedy piece of garbage. I must do it. Find the crate. Grab the crate. Don't be afraid to be crate. Oh, I guess we'll go up this way. Oh yeah, look at all this health. All right, we made it to the top. I am too freaking cowardly to do any kind of shortcut or skip or fast kill of Hundun. We're going to do bog standard. Wait for chicken snake. Oh, look, that's new. Wait for chicken snake. Shoot chicken snake. I mean, that's that's a neat addition, but I can say that it, it gets me uh, super hot and bothered. There's no erection in my pants right now by getting all those chests. Holy crap! How can she slip? How can she slip? Something like this. I think both of them are poisoned. Well, we are the winners. Cosmic Ocean, no thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna pass on you, Cosmic Ocean. Get me out of here. We are the winners of the Greeny Vorsini's mod. I feel though like I did not see everything there is to see. There's a lot of stuff that still needs to be seen in this mod, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to endeavor to go and find every single thing that I can possibly find. Or I can just move on to the next shiny thing. I'm always open to suggestions in the comments. There are plenty of mods that I haven't checked out yet, and it's possible that there's some real bangers out there that I haven't touched. I'm a big fan of the modding community. Man, I didn't even talk about UFO 50. I completely forgot about that. I guess I'll put that in the next episode of whatever comes next.